Hi, this is Bob from Insidium. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use MoGraph effectors in Deformer mode to animate geometry, and then how those effectors can also be used directly on particles. In our scene then we have this Insidium Balloon Dog Geo. Now we can deform this geometry by using any of these Cinema 4D deformers, which I'm sure you have used before, but we're also able to deform geometry using MoGraph effectors. And the cool thing is we can use this even on particles. So let's go to our MoGraph menu to the effectors and we'll just bring in the good old random effector. And you may have used this to randomize the position or the scale of clones in a MoGraph scene. But if we go to our random effector, to the deformer tab, we can put this in deformation mode, turn it into a deformer. And we can either do it on the polygon, the points, or the whole object itself. Let's do it on the points of our object. And in the parameter, let's say we want to move the points of our object by, let's just reduce these um, values down to say 15 centimeters on the X, Y, and Z. So we'll put this random effector as a child of our geo because now it's a deformer. And look, our points have been moved by uh, randomly by these values on those axes. So this works well when we smooth this off. So let's bring in a subdivision surface and put our balloon dog with a deformer as a child. And there we have now got, let's get rid of those lines, we've got this inc uh, interesting deformation of our object. Now, of course, we can actually have this in kind of an animated mode if we go to our random effector, effector tab, and change the random mode to one that can animate. So we get the most detail from the turbulence mode. Let's bring that in. And let's just hit play. So now we're getting that it's animating a bit quickly, isn't it? Let's put that down to say 20%. And then in the parameters, let's now increase these a little with this mode, 30, 30, 30. And now we're getting this kind of object deformation using a effector rather than a deformer. So that's pretty cool. What is really interesting about this is that we can also use these with particles. So how do we get that set up? Well, look, we'll just take that outside of our object. Let's go to Insidium X Particles Emitter, and we'll go to the Object tab. We'll put it in Object Mode. Let's drag in our subdivision surface. We want to do it on the surface of that object, so Polygon Area is the mode we want. Then the Emission, we're going to set it to Shot. Let's put it on 100,000 particles. We'll put it on simulate so we get these on frame zero. Let's get rid of the speed. And in the display tab, we'll put it on dots. Okay, then let's make the geo invisible. So there we go. We've got our balloon dog particle cloud. But here's the cool thing. If we go to our emitter, modifiers tab, and drag in our random effector, now we're getting our particles. And now these are static particles, but they're being deformed in this cool turbulent way um, using our effector and of course this works with fields as well so if we go and go to our random effector bring in a field let's bring in a linear field on the z something like that move it out so then let's hit play and animate our field across and there you get this really nice deformation of turbulent movement. The beauty of this is you never break apart this particle cloud because they're actually static and they're just being deformed.